What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new MLS Team of the Season play review and today we're going to be looking at the Colombian and FC Dallas star Fabian Castillo plays on the left hand side of midfield, stands at 5 foot 8, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, high low work rates which are absolutely perfect for a left winger. Great links for him outside of the MLS, you're looking at the likes of Freddy Guari and of Inter, Jackson Martinez team of the season, or potentially even his Atletico Madrid card, and of course, the fantastic Colombian player, probably the greatest Colombian player out there right now in reality, that is of course James Rodriguez, he's also got a really nice team of the season card, so it's pretty easily linkable. Uh, he's also going at the moment for between 135k to 780k on PlayStation, so a really wide term price range there, I think he's going for about the middle of that, and on Xbox he's going for between 120k to 460 where he's going towards the mid high end of that once again. Before we go any further, if you could smash near 15 likes on this video that would be absolutely awesome, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already for fantastic player reviews, FIFA content and all that other good stuff, but um, key stats and traits, if you look at his base card first of all, of course he's a 74 overall, he's got 96 pace, 82 dribbling, 75 shooting, 44 defending, 65 passing and 65 physical and straight away looking at the card you know what this card's going to be all about and that is just reiterated really with the key stats this guy's got 93 acceleration, 97 agility and 98 sprint speed and those three stats all together mean straight off the bat this card is going to be absolutely awesome as a winger. He's also got 85 dribbling and 84 positioning which is pretty nice as well for those counter attacks and he's blessed with the traits and specialities of speed dribbler technical dribbler, acrobat and speedster, so he's not only very quick, he's also got fantastic feet and he can uh, jump over those tackles with our acrobat trade as well, which is pretty nice. If we get into the team that I used him in, you can see it's a pretty nice little hybrid, we've got the likes of Team of the Season, Jackson Martinez in there, who I just mentioned, Quadrado, Warren, Hammer. so like I said, it's quite simple to build a nice little hybrid around him, and for me, he went on to get uh, 6 goals and 3 assists in the 5 games he played, I paid 450k for him, as you can see, which was his maximum, and uh, like I say, I think he's a bit more available at the moment, so you might be able to get him for a little bit less than that, but getting into the footage, like I said before, we all know what this card's going to be all about. Just pace, pace, pace. But it is nice to see that he is also blessed with those technical dribbling uh, specialities because when you've got those quick feet put together with that, that and like incredible pace, he is just so difficult to get near at times. It's a shame he's a little bit weak every now and then, but that's sort of to be expected. But as you can see from this clip now, even when people get a footing on him, sometimes just because of his raw pace and agility, he just he's just able to bounce through basically. And he goes on to win as a penalty there, which he will take himself and dispatch rather nicely but like I say if you want a winger that's just all about the pace he's not got the most amazing shooting but that's sort of to be expected when you look at his stats I mean it's just get down the line run with him cut inside because he is right footed on the left which is also another fantastic thing to have to be able to cut inside onto that right foot but I mean that goal there by the way probably my favourite one that he scored because all it needed was a really delicate touch to put that in and he provided that just almost scuffing it past the keeper really really nice finish but yeah this card is absolutely fantastic just for that raw pace down the line nice and linkable fantastic he can cut in on the right hand side from uh, sorry on the left hand side with his right foot and like you can see here he has also got some tidy footwork as well which is really nice to see so overall we are going to be giving Fabian Castillo a rating of 8.5 out of 10. His down balls, I mean, for his positioning, you can sometimes lack the movement, if you know what I mean. Like, he doesn't always make the runs. You have to force him to do it every now and then. And he's also a bit weak, which is sort of to be expected with this kind of player. But he's just absolutely rapid. His shooting is good enough. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's good enough for the level of player that he is. And um, his dribbling is, is also fantastic with his quick feet and that much pace. You know, you can struggle to get near him sometimes as a defender. So uh, you've got to feel sorry for those wing backs right now. But um, like, like I say, 8.5 overall. Really, really fun card to use. Is it worth the 450k? Probably probably not. I mean, if you can get him for sort of 300 to 350, he's awesome in that Colombian front three with Quadrado and Jackson Martina. So it's definitely worth trying him out for that. But that is going to bring us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, like I say, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're not already. I will speak to you all next time. Need you out. Because we, as we approach this last little chicane, we take it absolutely brilliantly. Absolutely real Hamilton. Look at this, we're up to third place, second place. Can we take 